Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Killsteam. I am back with a brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare video for you guys today. Once again, we are back, and guys, we have the pre-order bonuses already, and it's something else called the Operator Packs, which are included inside of these pre-order bonuses. And this kind of explains what specialists are in Modern Warfare multiplayer. We didn't get too much of the multiplayer information besides from the DLC and the, I guess, business perspective on that stuff. So right now, we're going to go over the pre-order bonuses first and what the pre-orders are, different, I guess, additions of the game. And then we're going to be going over the Operator Packs. All right, guys. So for the regular standard edition, it's going to cost you $60. You're going to get a digital copy of Modern Warfare game. Now, this is going to be the digital version of the additions for the first half and then the second half we're going to be going over the physical additions you're also going to get a custom in-game tactical knife which is kind of curious i'm, I'm kind of curious to see what that's going to be about and one prestige token to use in call of duty black ops 4 included with pre-orders only call of duty black ops 4 game required sold separately that's obvious and that's pretty cool as well it's something a little bit different there also, guys, for the Operator Edition, that's going to cost you $80, and this is another digital copy. You're going to get a custom in-game tactical knife, all gillied up Operator Pack, the Crew Expendable Operator Pack, and the War Pig Operator Pack. And we're going to be going over those in just a bit. And also, you get another Prestige Token to use in Black Ops 4, the same thing from the regular edition. Now, for the highest edition, the Operator Enhanced Edition, this is going to cost you $100, and you're going to be getting the Call of Duty Modern Warfare game digital copy, custom in-game knife, the All Gillied Up Operator Pack, Crew Expendable Operator Pack, the War Pig Operator Pack, and 3,000 Call of Duty points, so that means microtransactions are going to be going to be in Modern Warfare some shape or form, but we just don't know how they're going to work out yet. And also, for the final thing you get for the Operator Enhanced Edition is the one prestige token okay so on to the physical editions for the regular standard edition all you're going to get is the base game itself and that's going to cost you 60 usd and then moving on to the precision edition which is going to it's going to cost you 100 dollars this includes the following the modern warfare game the steelbook um, Control Freak Modern Warfare branded perform performance thumbsticks and the Control Freak Modern Warfare branded controller skin, custom in-game tactical knife, all gillied up, crew expendable, and war pig operator packs, and the code animated animated calling card. And that's for the Call of Duty endowment stuff. So that's gonna be for a limited quantities and limited regions. Currently, right now, the precision edition is only available for GameStop. Also, there is the highest edition, which is called the Dark Edition. This is going to cost you $200, and they have provided no additional details on what this includes. I guess we have to wait and find out, because right now, you can actually buy this edition without what even knowing you're going to get. So that's kind of funny to me for GameStop-wise. GameStop, they're just... Well, they're just games. Okay, so in the new Modern Warfare, you'll have the opportunity to choose and express yourself as a number of diverse and named operators. Rather than special abilities that affect gameplay, each offers their own backstory, nationality, character dialogue, character skins, and co cosmetic customization options, which probably where the COD points are going to come into play post-game launch. That's going to be kind of interesting to see how they're going to price their stuff compared to Black Ops 4. And also, we have confirmed that specialist abilities will not be coming, which is a huge, huge yes for me, that is. I mean, I hate specialists in Black Ops 4. If I play multiplayer, which I barely do, I'm always on Blackout, I'm going to play bare bones. I just cannot stand the specialists no more. I'm honestly just sick and tired of them being in Call of Duty. And I'm so glad they're taking this route of the cool backstories and stuff. I do like that but not the actual gameplay elements affecting the game and how it plays. Thank God they are doing this route. I am so happy. So, there are three operator packs Operator packs you receive as part of the Operator Edition or the Operator Enhanced Edition. Each of them allow you to wear three themed Operator skins and um, utilize three cosmetic weapon variants, one per Operator. From some of the most popular and iconic Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare missions, of the past and this is actually gets really really cool so let's go ahead and dive into these each operator packs okay so starting off from the far left the crew expendable operator pack you're gonna be playing as soap mctavish guys from call of duty 4 modern warfare second mission 
wet work. Now, if you guys remember that mission, you went onto that boat very stealthily and stuff, finding the nuclear device and stuff like that. And overall, it was a pretty badass mission. Well, now you can play as him as a multiplayer operator inside of Modern Warfare. So, the operator name is going to be called Otter. The themed operator skin is going to be the special operations with gas mask, so we, that's obvious. And the cosmetic weapon variant is going to be the short barreled pump action shotgun designed for close encounters. In fact, the phrase is scratch into the stock. So that's pretty funny. The weapon, the weapon also comes with oil and surface markings. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now moving on to the middle one, you guys probably already know where this is going. So you're going to be playing as John Price, Lieutenant John Price, before he was made Captain Price and the mission all gillied up. So this is the all gillied up operator pack, operator pack, and you're going to be playing as, well, Captain Price, but before he was made captain during the all gillied up mission. And his, uh, I guess, little themed operator skin is going to be the full sniper ghillie suit. That's what you see right there. And the cosmetic weapon variant is going to be the bolt action sniper rifle in camouflage with additional netting and suppressor and what seems to be coordinates scratch on the surface of the weapon above the trigger near the bolt carrier. So it looks like these weapons are going to be like signature weapons. Very, very, I guess, I, I don't know, nostalgic like throwback to the old missions from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And honestly, I couldn't think of a more better way to do specialists in this game and to have these as these three of them as pre-order bonuses. Very, very awesome job, Infinity War. Moving on to our third Third and final one, we have the War Pig Operator Pack. Now, this goes back to the War Pig mission back in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, where you are playing as the Marine Sergeant Paul Jackson. Well, now his operator name in Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going to be Wyatt. And his themed operator skin is, as you see right here, the Ground Infantry Desert Camouflage with Tact Vest. And his weapon is going to be the pistol with a lightweight custom trigger, flared magwell grip with custom stipping, accessory rail for mounting lasers or flashlights, and the war pig attached onto this slide. Into the slide. So yeah, very, very awesome. It looks all badass. Each one of them look really, really cool. And I can't wait to see what other ones we do have. Are they going to be theme from the old missions from maybe Modern Warfare 3? Maybe we'll get a ghost operator pack. I'm not too sure. Very, very interesting concept here, and I'm so glad, once again, I am so glad that specialist abilities and weapons and stuff like that aren't returning with this game, but it's really cool that they have the backstories for each one of these operators, and now these three of them that we have right here are OG characters that we all know and love from the previous, um, the previous Modern Warfare games, only from the modern Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Guys, this is going to get really confusing trying to describe each Modern Warfare, and especially with this new one that just came out, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is going to get really, really confusing. But yeah, guys, that is the editions explained, the physical editions, the digital editions, and the operator packs explained. And now the pre-order ones, I went over those. There's definitely going to be more of them with the full game and probably even released until the full game is out. And I'm not sure what's happening with the beta, guys. I'm not sure if there's going to be a beta. Most likely there will be. There always has been the last couple of years. And we're probably going to have to wait to find out until E3, until we see some multiplayer gameplay and some more multiplayer information. But overall, guys, October 25th, is the day guys it is the day where we get back into captain price and i'm not sure maybe even ghost we're gonna see him in the campaign and get into this awesome brand new experience from infinity board it looks really really awesome stay tuned for more modern warfare videos coming your way very very soon i'll see you guys there the like button down below comment and subscribe peace out guys